Hey, we now turn our attention to a problem that at first glance may seem difficult. However, what I need for you to see is that fundamentally this problem is not much different from the ones we've previously. So here is the problem. A small plane is flying directly west with an airspeed of 30 meters per second. The plane flies into a region where the wind is blowing at 10 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the south of east. A. If the pilot does not change the heading of the plane, what will be the ground speed of the airplane? B. What will be the new directional heading relative to the ground of the airplane? So this problem may seem difficult. What I need for you to see is that this problem essentially is not any different from the one involving the, the, um, the person at the airport walking onto the moving walkway. So first we're told that the small plane is traveling directly west with an airspeed of 30 meters per second. This is like the walker walking at 3 miles per hour before getting on the moving walkway. The plane flies into a region where the wind is blowing at 10 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the south of east. So this is like the walker getting onto the moving walkway. So if you remember in that problem, the walker went from traveling at 3 miles per hour relative to the ground to 3 miles per hour relative to the moving walkway. So something very similar is going to happen here. The small plane is going to go from moving at 30 miles per second directly west relative to the ground to moving 30 meters per second to the west relative to the air. So now the air moves just like a moving walkway. And so we're going to have to add the velocity of the plane relative to the air to the velocity of the air relative to the ground. So if you remember in the last problem, we said that the velocity of the man relative to the ground was equal to the velocity of the man relative to the walkway plus the velocity of the walkway relative to the ground. So the velocity of the plane relative to the air, this will be our notation. And it's going to be 30 meters per second directly west. And the velocity of the air relative to the ground, well, this will be our notation. And it's 10 meters per second at 30 degrees to the south of east. Notice these are small values, relatively small values. The plane is not moving very quickly. This is like a roughly 70 miles per hour. So it's a slow moving plane. Now the velocity of the plane relative to the ground is going to be equal to the sum of these two. So we can look and we can put that here like this. So again, make the connection. This is like the velocity of the man relative to the floor being equal to the velocity of the man relative to the walkway plus the velocity of the walkway relative to the floor. In this particular problem, they do not ask you explicitly for the velocity of the plane relative to the ground. But you need to recognize that that is what is being asked for in these two parts. First, they're asking you for the speed, and they say the ground speed. Interpret that as the speed relative to the ground. And they ask you for the directional heading relative to the ground. So being asked for both the speed and the, the direction relative to the ground is tantamount to being asked for the velocity relative to the ground. So this is why you need to understand the distinction between velocity and speed. Velocity is a vector and so we're going to need to add this up vectorially. So let's take a look at these vectors and let's take a look first at the velocity of the plane relative to the air. So we can represent that using this line, this directed line here. And so relative to the air, this pilot is moving directly east. But the air itself is moving and so we're going to need to add these two. Velocity of the plane relative to the air, that's this. And we're going to need to add that to the velocity of air relative to the ground. So that is the velocity of the air relative to the ground, and it's at 30 degrees south of east. So we can put that little angle in there if you want to see it. And so the sum of these now will give us what we want here, the velocity of the plane relative to the ground. So I can just do like that. Notice I'm using the tip to tail addition. And here is the symbol. So we have effectively modeled and solved this problem using GeoGebra. So the important thing is for you to know how to model problems, because very often you can let machines do the actual calculations for you. Now bear in mind, you're going to have to be able to do these calculations also, and we'll look at how we do that later on. We could use geometry and trigonometry to solve this and get what the magnitude and direction of this vector are, but it'll be easier, I believe, to use a more general method, which is the method of vector components. So we'll leave calculations for right now. We'll just let George do the calculation. So I could put the values in, so this is 30 meters per second, at 180 degrees. Remember these angles are measured counterclockwise from the positive x direction. So that's the velocity of the plane relative to the air. This is the velocity of the air relative to the ground, 10 meters per second at 
330. So notice if you go all the way around here, that's 330. So that's 30 degrees below east. And then GeoGebra can find some of these for you and do that for you automatically. So the plane relative to the ground is traveling at roughly 22 meters per second and at about 13 degrees south of west. So the plane doesn't actually fly west because although the pilot is flying relative to the air, he's flying west, the air itself is moving. So imagine, think of this like someone swimming straight across a river, but then the river, the entire river is moving downward. So this pilot, as far as he's concerned, is moving like this, but the air itself is moving this way. And so relative to the ground, he's traveling at 22, 22 meters per second and roughly 13 degrees south of, of west. So that's it for this problem. I hope um, you find it fairly easy. Okay, bye for now.